Okay, so I know that I know we're months and months and months away from the show still, but I got more thoughts on this MSG run, and you know, I didn't, you know, if I sounded disappointed or upset yesterday in the video, you know, that original video, I didn't, you know, good. I, I should have probably said somewhere in there, like, good for fish. You know, at this point, they're calling the shots. You know, if they don't want to travel, if they just want to play 13 shows at MSG, pretty much like a hometown show for them, basically. I mean, kinda. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know, they don't have to at this point. They can just do that if they want. You know, if they want to do three nights here, three nights here, three nights there, spread out throughout the year, they can pull that move off. You know, the no-fall tour is what really had me bummed out. You know, I was already mentally picturing myself in Vegas for Halloween, wondering, what are they going to do? Well, that's what that's what happens, man. You shouldn't do that. It's a no-no. I should, I should know better by now than to start thinking about Halloween in January. Before January, I was thinking about it during, I was thinking about it during Halloween this Halloween. I already knew that most likely I wasn't going to get to see fish this summer. Which was okay. You know, I'm fine with that. I was holding out a small bit of hope, but, you know, possibility. You know, I don't know. After those Mexico shows, old El Champo was fired up after those Mexico shows. I think even he's going to do all 13 nights at MSG. You know, there's going to be people doing all 13 nights. It's amazing. I mean, what are they going to, they're going to like, I don't know. You think they'll, uh, I wonder if there'll be any repeats. That seems to be the number one question, at least for me, anyhow. I don't know. I'm sure other people feel the same way, but. I mean, if you, even if you're going all 13 nights, I don't think you care about repeats. But I just wonder. It's, it's worth questioning. And I know, you know for sh you know for a fact there's going to be at least one couple there. It's like, we're going to get through this whole thing, man, just giving blowjobs and selling burritos. We're not, you know, we don't need anything else. We're going to get a place to stay and we're going to get a ticket to the show every night. That's the deal. I am concerned, though, 13 straight nights in New York City could run out of fajitas and green peppers. Maybe I think they'll be all right on the onions. But the green peppers and fajitas, man, 13. I mean, no, there's never been anything like this in the history of fish, has there? You know, what, three or maybe four, five nights? Four nights seems like the longest. You know, maybe a fifth day, the people want to have the chompers and wilks hang around that town. Maybe even a sixth day. You know, they get there a day early, they stay a day late. But 13 straight days, I don't know. You know, I know New York City's braced for some things. You know, it's braced for this type of thing. They've, they've seen a lot that city has. But 13 nights of fish fans, I don't know. I thought, now all of a sudden every fish fan's all about donuts all of a sudden. You know, most of the time you fucks on your social media, you're posting pictures of your your sushi at some fancy restaurant eating fucking octopus titties or something. Now all of a sudden you're, oh, I'm a donut guy. Just, you fucking eat donuts all the time, you know. Just just stop it with your fancy pictures, all right? Be, be, be real like you were yesterday with your donuts. Bunch of fucking, you're, you're all slobs just like I am, admit it. I don't know. I do worry about that one. I mean, you ever seen that one-armed look kid on Fish Lot? You know, I worry about that. That's what I worry about this 13-night run. I mean, that kid lost his eyes. His parents were Grateful Dead fans. I know, right? Yeah, that, good luck to that kid. So anyhow, I mean, he's doing all right. He's a good kid. You know, I don't mean to insult him, calling him a one-armed look. It's just what he is. You know, it's like, it's just a fact. So anyhow, you know, the, the, dead, the dead parents, man, they had a night. Not that it was a 13-night run, but uh, at one point, man, things got tight on tour. They were, up in, they were up in northern Wisconsin. People up there wanted meat on their burritos. They had no meat. I mean, what were they going to do? Go, go shoot a, a fucking deer or something? No, they didn't know what to do. Chopped the kid's arm off, added some meat to their burritos, charged them an extra buck. The kid was all right. He lost an arm, but they survived, you know. People, people love the burritos. Like, mmm, -hmm, burritos good. What is this? Is this chicken? Nah, it's Wook. It's our son over there. Wook Jr. Burritos, two fifty. Instead of the instead of your two for two dollars, these were five bucks for two. I could, I mean, you know, I don't know if you can put a price on your son's arm, but so that's the, I am worried about that type of thing. You know, thirteen straight nights of fish and what one venue and one city could lead to some problems. If you're a kid, I don't know how many children are probably watching my videos, but somehow, man, if your parents are taking you to this 13-night run, kid, be careful. Get the hell out of there. I know you don't get to choose your parents, but at this point, you might be like, man, what are mom and dad going to do to me? Mom's over there blowing guys left and right. I think dad's blowing a couple of guys. Now they want to put my arm in the burritos. What happens, though, man? 13 nights of fish. It ain't all donuts. It certainly isn't pretty. The 5K Chomper Stomp is on, of course. Somebody wanted to know that, of course. What do you think? So it's, it's the summertime, you know. That, the good news is summertime, you get, you know, you get to feel good. Summertime clothing, you know. If you like summer tour out there. But bad news is wook sweat. Oh, my God. You've been around. I was in Tuscaloosa, so, you know, I've been there. Woo! Couldn't imagine it being indoor. 13 nights. Oh, my God. I feel so bad for you people that are going to be there. 
just bring some like air freshener maybe woo, 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 woo. Get, bring, make yourself some homemade wook spray woo, 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 woo. oh man you know there's chompers already trying to figure out like what, what 13 signs should we make for each night we need a different sign each night about one that just says well i don't know I don't know. I, I, I should have had that planned out better. I was trying to think of something, right? Just like that, that had 13 somethings. Ah, whatever. We're out of here. Time to end the video. Did I, get, did I get everything in there? Yeah, I think we got everything. Made a little list here, some notes, you know. You got El Champo in there. Didn't really work that incorrectly, though. Got the, yeah, the one armed Wook kid with the Grateful Dead parents. God bless him. Oh, yeah, the couple that's going to be trying to get through the run, giving blowjobs and selling burritos. All right, I think, yeah, we covered everything. Good news, bad news. The city running out of green peppers. Could you imagine the outrage? What were the what's what do they go to then? Start sucking, buddy.